Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking at Boyle's Law, which states when a sample of gas is compressed at a constant temperature, the pressure P is inversely proportional to the volume V of the, of the gas. So if you don't know Boyle's Law, and you just have to go off of this, we're saying the pressure P is inversely proportional to the volume V. So I look at something like this. This is an inverse proportion. However, we don't know that it's going to be a one-to-one, -one, right? So we have to put this as some constant K. And this is going to be our um, this is going to be our law. This is going to be our formula that we're going to be going off of. We want to write v as a function of p. So this is just getting v alone. You can multiply both sides by v, which will simplify this equation, this uh, fraction, which leaves us with v p equals k. I want to get p off of that side, so we get v equals k over p. Now we want to actually solve for k. So we have this over here, we know V is the volume, so that's 0 0.106 is equal to K, which we don't know yet, divided by P, which is 50 kilopascals. So if we do a little, imagine that as a dividing by one, we can cross multiply here. So 50 times 0 0.106 is equal to K times one is just K, which gives us K is equal to 5.3. So V is equal to 5.3 over P. So this is V as a function of P, and we want to calculate the derivative. So dV dP is not super clear based off of our power laws, unless we think of this as P to the 1, and therefore if we want to bring it to the numerator, we multiply the exponent by negative 1, so this is 5.3 P to the negative 1. So now this is something we can more easily find the derivative of. We take the coefficient, 5.3, multiply by the exponent, negative one with a new exponent is the old one, the minus one. Just taking a look at this, this is gonna be 5.3 times the negative one is negative 5.3. P to the negative one minus one is P to the negative two. So dV dP is this value right here. If we can just also highlight V as that was what we were looking for in part A. What is the meaning of the derivative? Well, this is gonna be the rate of change of the volume over um, the change in the pressure. So this is how much the volume is going to change per unit change in the pressure. And what are its units? Well, it's going to be volume over the uh, pressure. So whatever that's going to be, we have for the volume, we're doing that in terms of meters cubed, and the pressure is in terms of kilopascals. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you as always for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.